Ron from AndroidOn.com and uh, if you recall I did a video on how to install the ported Galaxy S5 ROM onto your Samsung Galaxy Note 3 a few um, weeks ago. So another developer, the developer name CDMVIRT, sorry I couldn't figure out how to pronounce your name, uh, did um, have made a better version of this Galaxy S5 port and uh, it is currently available for the Galaxy Note 3 uh, that is available for the Note 3 uh, N9005 that is the international variant and the T-Mobile and the Canadian variant so uh, you can go ahead and give this a try if you are using either one of those devices sorry it's not available for the international Exynos variant that is the N900 so uh, so you can follow this video and uh, you can get it installed on your device so uh, big thumbs up to the developer for making such a ROM and uh, don't forget to go ahead and donate to the developer so that he can work on this ROM even more so uh, if you want to check out my previous video on the S5 port you can check it out somewhere around here I will leave an annotation and if you are using a mobile device you can check the description where I'll leave the uh, direct link to that. So that's it. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so first of all you need to get your device and first you need to power it off. Alright, so um, I think most of you will be on uh, CWM right now, Clockwork Mod Recovery. But uh, to flash this ROM you need Phil's Recovery. So I'll leave the link for that right below that like button so you can go ahead and download that. So you need the Fails Recovery and the ROM files. So first you need to download those files and you need to transfer them to your internal or external SD card. So next you need to go to Recovery. So you need to hold the up volume, power and home button for 10 seconds and you will see Recovery booting. Right there. So once you see that, you are good to go. Now you will be booted into Clockwood Mod Recovery. So from here you need to uh, just go into uh, Install Zip. First you need to install the uh, re uh, recovery, the Fills Recovery. So uh, let me move into that folder quickly. So it's in my external SD card. So I selected the external SD and uh, I need to go to my ROMs folder and the Canadian S5 port so you select Phil's recovery and hit yes install so it will be installed flashing and install complete so you go back go to advanced and hit reboot recovery alright now give it a few minutes Alright, now you will see the recovery booting option again on top, right there. Uh, Alright, All right, now we are booted into Phil's recovery here. So, uh, this is the advanced version of uh, Clockwood Mod Recovery with many more features. So, uh, and this is fully touch, so you can use uh, the touch screen. Uh, however, I prefer to use the volume buttons and the power button because it's easy and I'm used to it. So, um, first of all, to install the ROM, you need to go to wipe data slash factory reset. Um, so, you select wipe data uh, slash factory reset and yes. So, give it a few minutes. Wiping, now wiping the cache. So um, make sure you have the ROM uh, copied to your internal or external card before you proceed because uh, you won't be able to boot into the ROM, uh, your earlier ROM after you do this. You're going to have to uh, boot in from the beginning. That means you'll have to go through the setup process again. So it's easier if you uh, copy the stuff. So wipe uh, data is complete. Now go and hit wipe cache. Yes, that is done now oops all right now go back and you hit go to advanced and uh, hit five david cache that is right here 
all right all right that's also done and now you need to go back go to mounts and storage right here and select format slash system yes all right that's also done all right now you need to go back go to install zip choose zip and choose it from the external or internal based on where you put it I have it in my external so I need to go to that folder where you have the files and um, first you need to flash the ROM that is the Canadian S5 port version 12 and yes install that's all now you need to give it a few minutes for it to flash it will take uh, roughly around five minutes two to five minutes so I'll be back once this is done all right guys so the install is now complete so you can press any key and again uh, ins go to that uh, same folder and select the AR view underscore add-on dot zip and yes install All right, that is also done. So now you go back and just hit reboot system now. That's the first option. Select that. That's pretty much it. Now you have installed the ROM. All right, now you see the no three usual screen with this message on top. Don't mind the message. You get that once you when you install custom ROMs. Alright, so we see the Galaxy S5 boot screen. So let's give it a few seconds. I'll be back once this is complete. Alright, guys, we're up here. So um, as you can see, we see the boot screen of the Galaxy S5 right now. So let me select. The region quickly and let me skip through the setup process quickly that's it we are booted into the ROM right here so as you can see we get the battery call message uh, of the Galaxy S5 where you need to make sure it's sealed for the water resistance to work and we have the original home screen of the Galaxy S5 right here uh, is my magazine there? Yeah, my magazine is also there. And yeah, I need to set it up. Uh, so we have the settings panel with mobile data working right here, as you can see. And um, we have the settings panel. Let's go to about device and let's check uh, the model number. So the model number we get is the model number of the Canadian Galaxy S5 as the developer have mentioned in the ROM thread so this is currently on Android 4.4.2 KitKat and um, what else so this ROM uh, has all the goodies from uh, the Samsung Galaxy S5 and it has also has some features of the Galaxy Note 3 first thing uh, the one of the major problems I had with the ice black uh, ice black ROM was the data connectivity issue it seems like in this ROM it is being fixed let me try to focus as you can see uh, we have full 4G working so um, no issues there I've been playing with it for a few minutes now few uh, yeah, around half an hour now so still no issues and um, as I said earlier the camera is fully working so we have all the features of the galaxy as well all the menus and everything is the same so um, let me try to take a picture here bring my beats pro here and uh, let's try to capture it all right so the camera is working and um, we have all the mode options also available so talking further about this ROM we have the settings 
uh, panel and we can rearrange it easily and uh, the good thing about this ROM is the availability of the S Pen option so if you are uh, if you bought the note uh, the note 3 one of the main reasons for buying the note 3 would be the S Pen so earlier in that ice black ROM we weren't able to use the um, S Pen and AR command was not working but right now as you can see AR command is working and uh, we have all the uh, features working so um, we can take notes and um, also um, pen window is working where you can draw windows and uh, get small apps to pop up all right so that's that and we have a separate uh, menu on this rom for the s pen related stuff uh, when you dig deep into the settings you will find that option under s pen and we have the usual s pen settings here so we have the s pen uh, detached sound as well so you can change it uh, something cool if you want so uh, we also have a theme uh, engine where we have uh, kind of pre-installed uh, themes here but I think if you install this ROM it's for the S5 look so I think most of you will stick with the um, basic theme that we get so um, we also have the one-handed operations with this ROM so uh, we have this we can uh, easily use it with uh, one hand when it's like this so uh, this op option is also fully enabled and uh, talking about the main home screen the um, full uh, Galaxy S5 home screen is here with uh, my magazine working and uh, what else the dialer is here and the browser is there the browser is also fully functional I played with it for a few minutes and it seemed to work well so uh, let's visit androidollar.com quickly if you haven't visited androidollar.com yet should go and check it out the theme is fully responsive so the theme uh, the website will uh, load properly on your device so uh, you can go and check it out so talking more about this ROM we also have the ultra power saving mode here so as you can see we have the full black and white mode enabled you can save a lot of juice by using this so um, the good thing about the ultra power saving mode is you can use mobile data while the screen is uh, black and white so you can still uh, go on Facebook you can still use Twitter no issues there you can still browse the web no issues but uh, your screen will be in black and white so uh, that's a pretty neat feature to have in, on your phone so let's give it a few minutes to disable So uh, we also have the toolbox. We also have the uh, toolbox in this ROM, which is the pop-up like circle, I think, where you have uh, preset apps, so you can quickly access them, such as the camera. So uh, you can easily switch between apps with this. You can go to the calculator just like that. That is pretty neat all right in this room we also have um, s health so uh, s health is pre-installed and we have the heart rate option but the sensor is missing so you obviously can't uh, try it because this is the note 3 so um, it's good to have the option nevertheless so under lock screen settings we also have the fingerprint option Though the Note 3 does not have uh, the fingerprint scanner, so you cannot use it. We get this error. So, uh, anyway, talking about the lock screen, we have the fully functional Galaxy S5 lock screen with the bubbles. So, um, we also have the download booster enabled on this ROM. So, as soon as you enable it, you see this uh, special icon on top 
where you have the Wi-Fi and 4G setting button popping up so this is also a pretty neat feature to have and uh, talking more about this ROM um, I have not found many issues so far it has been pretty stable and uh, I have uh, tried out uh, most of these stuff and they do seem to work and uh, we have the play store up and running no issues there uh, we also have the Google Apps bundled and uh, I did not face any issues with them till now I had to um, play with it for a couple of days before charging it 100% but as far as I have tested uh, in the last half an hour or last hour uh, I have had no issues with this so uh, that's pretty much it with about this ROM this ROM is pretty stable and uh, this for a Note 3 user uh, who uses the S Pen and wants the Galaxy S5 features on the device this right here is a must have ROM so if you have not uh, tried out the S5 ROM on your Samsung Galaxy Note 3 uh, go ahead and try this out that's it guys, if you follow the video properly, you are now running the S5 ROM on your Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So, uh, if you think the video was helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well, if you haven't subscribed already. And uh, I would like to give a quick shout out to everyone who has subscribed in the past few weeks. And who has shared all the videos and all the articles. And who have sh shown their support towards the website so uh, I would really like to uh, thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart and um, stay tuned to android.com for the latest news and uh, don't forget to share this video with your friends who have the Note 3 because this is a must have I would say must must have uh, ROM on your Note 3 because this, is, this ROM has the best of both worlds this has the S5 features this has the Note 3 features, so this is a definite, uh, definite uh, ROM you must try on your Note 3. So um, that's pretty much it, uh, I will talk to you guys in the next video.